Is it a move of God or a move of Satan and the demonic? You test the spirits on this week's RLA. C. That no one misleads you. The Bible is clear that the last days will be filled with false teachers, deception, mockers, lawlessness, those who love themselves, those who will be unloving and unholy, those without self-control, those who will pretend to know God, yet they are simply whitewashed tombs. There will be no great end times revival, just a great last days deception. Scripture warns that people will creep into their churches unaware. Who are those creeping in and why are they doing it? The church in the last days will be full of compromise, deception, and a lack of discernment. Life clips will contend earnestly for the faith as Jude 3 instructs. Warning, the red light has been turned on. Grab your Bible. It's time to expose the dark. He's been doing something, but I feel like it's like quantum leaps. Revival that will quantum leap. It won't just be in pocket, but the Netherlands will be, will be known as the place where revival happen on a national level. I saw, I saw that there was no separation from worship in the church to the streets. Whoa! We just saw, I just saw it. Whoo! It's this like extravagant, uncontainable worship. It's like a fire. Shorababa. Yeah, mama, we bless you. Mama, we bless you. Whoa! Yeah, and I just, whoo! You'll be known for worshiping. Extravagant worship laid down lovers you couldn't it's like it won't be stopped it's like people will just fall on their knees and have no idea why and they'll encounter the lord yeah bless netherlands to worship the netherlands yeah thank you jesus Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For Kenya, Lord. More, God. Give him an anointing for Kenya. I bless A few minutes later. Spirit, in Jesus' name, more, God. More, Lord. More, God. Fill her up, Lord. Fill her up. Lord. Fill her up, God. Touch him, Lord. Fill him, Lord. In Jesus' name, more God, more Lord. Touch them, Father. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Lord, fill them, Lord. Fill them, Lord. Fill them, Lord. Fill her, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, more God, more Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, touch this man. In the name of Jesus, anoint him. Anoint him, Lord, in Jesus' name. More, God. More, Lord. We bless him in the name of Jesus. Let a mantle come on him for the supernatural. In the name of Jesus. More, God. God, release your heat. Release your power. Oh, that's the one I forgot. Heat coming on you. More, Lord. More, Lord. In Jesus' name. More power. I bless your hand. More, God. More, Lord. Lord, we bless this man. We bless this woman. In the name of Jesus, more, God. Fill him up, Lord. We bless him, God. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. In the name of Jesus, thank you, God. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Touch him, Father. Touch him, Lord. In the name of Jesus, more of your presence. More, Lord. Touch them, God. Touch them, Lord. The glory, your presence, your power. 
Fill them up, Lord. Transference of anointing, God, yes. from heaven to earth. In the name of Jesus, more, more, Lord, more, Lord. We bless them. We bless him, God. In the name of Jesus, more. We bless James, more, God. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, yeah. Yeah, Lord, we bless Walter. We bless him, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray that be what you did to Father Thalen, you do to Walter. Father Walter, in Jesus' name, let there be a, a, an increase and an activation in words of knowledge and prophecy, understanding of the ways of God, gifts of faith, in the name of Jesus. Gifts of healing, Lord, let them break out. Give him faith that you're going to do what you told him you're going to do with him. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I bless him, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Touch him, Father. More. More, Lord. And blessing. In Jesus' name. More. Come, Holy Spirit. Touch Mitch. In the name of Jesus. More, Lord. More, Lord. Touch Mitch. Touch Melanie in the name of Jesus. More of your power, more of your power, more God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So, what is Kundalini? The fundamental life force in the existence, we call it Kundalini. Now, within the system, Within the human system, if you look at this as a kind of a life package, it's a piece of life. This piece of life is packed in a certain way with layers of this energy. Kundalini yoga in its essence is the most dangerous form of yoga. I'm saying dangerous because it's the most potent also. If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane or you should have enormous trust in somebody. Say more, Lord. Whoa! More, Lord. Everybody, place, place that anointing. If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane. That crown, that gift upon someone else's head. <laughs> Keep praying. Every single one of you, impartation, legacy, 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 legacy. If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane. Fire! If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane. There's fire, place it on their heads, find somebody. I think he's got it. Shake a baba. Fire. Place it on another one's head. Fire. Shh. Legacy. Legacy. As the greatest thing you've ever seen in your life. Prophesy over them ten times. Start to prophesy over it. If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane. I scream and I just release so much things that has to stop crying. <laughs> Went right to my heart. Um, like electricity. All in the room, biological upgrade after biological upgrade, and the fifth. If someone who claims they are born again and walked into a service like this, I would assume they would leave. This young boy is demon possessed. There's Bill Johnson standing, security standing, causing a disruption. As you can see, he is still writhing on the floor. That is not a move of God. That poor kid has demons in him. There is a reason people are gathering around him 
and it's a complete distraction if this were truly a move of God. When you see them moving and shaking, and, and especially when you see it live in person for the first time, you just go, whoa, when you see them moving and shaking, and, and especially when you see it live in person for the first time, you just go, whoa, when you see them moving and shaking, when you see them moving and shaking. Well, for people who don't understand, what is Kundalini? Okay, um, Kundalini, it can be used in different terms and it, there is no fixed definition of it. Um, most people refer to Kundalini as, you know, just the self-will practices where you're generating energy, you know, Kundalini yoga, where, mm -hmm. or, you know, the Taoist sexual practices, raising the energy up, the chi, Kundalini, Chi, life force, it's all the same thing. Now, um, most practices are self-will. You use determination and your consciousness and will to move energy, generate your own energy. This is different. This is a transmission of energy and from co one consciousness to another. And so it, it's almost a downward, the other one's an upward driving energy. This is more a downward descending spirit force. Mm. And it's closer to Shaktipat in India, they call it Shakti. Yeah. And it's just, it's just given. Yeah. Is that usually when the guru initiates their student? Yeah, you could, yeah, in, the, in, in India they use the guru, you know, devotee thing, but it's really just conscious transmission from one being to another. More lords. Whoa! More lord. Everybody, place, place that anointing, that crown, that gift upon someone else. Is that usually when the guru initiates their student? Yeah, you could, yeah, you know. Lord, in the name of Jesus, God cause your power to flow out of his hands when he prays for other people. In the name of Jesus, more God, more Lord. Yeah. Is that usually when the guru initiates their student? You should be insane. More and more. More, Lord. More, God. We bless what you're doing. If you have to jump into an abyss, you should be insane. More, God. We bless what you're doing. In Jesus' name. More, God. More. More, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus.
appreciates their student. Guru initiates their student. Those of you who are watching, I'm not moving him around. My hand is barely on his head. So when you're seeing his head going back and forth, I'm not pushing his head back. I'm not pushing it forward. I'm just allowing the Lord. In fact, you'll notice I'm barely touching him. I don't want to get in the way of the touch of the kingdom. Now you might notice there are some people in the room who have a gift for intercession. You might notice they're moving around. Some people might be crying. They might be rhythmically moving. You'll notice Eric is kind of clapping his hands. Sydney's got the jiggles, we've got Claudia who's got these crying, so these people are picking up. Beto's got the shakes, so God is using your bodies to release a part of what He's doing in the kingdom. There are too many people interceding in this room that you would not be delivered completely, 100%. You do it, God, right now in Jesus' name. When you see them moving and shaking, and, and especially when you see it live in person for the first time, you just go, whoa. When you see them moving and shaking, when you see them moving and shaking. So this part here is straight up demonic witchcraft, evil on her face, evil in her motions. I did the best that I could do to capture this. Hearing, hearing again, hearing again in Jesus' name. Ora mama mama saya, ora mama mama saya, ere 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 mama mama saya, iso hura baba baba seke, e sara baba baba saya. Luke 145, blessed is she who has believed that what the Lord has spoken, it shall come to pass. Amen. Hear and look how violent this is. This is not God. So this next part coming up again with Stephanie Gretzinger, so many people love her music. I personally believe she's got an amazing voice. She draws you in. She intoxicates you. Everything about what we're going to see now intoxicates you. If you just listen to her voice, this lady is demonic. Watch her behaviors. Watch what happens when they sing this song. Listen to the lyrics. There is something very, very, very creepy about not only the lyrics, but her behavior. Waiting for 
for you to pass by. You put your hand over his face. So in your presence, he would die. And all of Israel saw the glory, and it shone. You've called us to boldly see your face. Show me your face, Lord. Show In this holy place In this holy place In this holy place Show your faith. Who is she talking to here? This is extremely strange. So I'm going to let this play again without any editing, and you tell me if you would have picked up what I did. Moses stood on a mountain Waiting for you to pass by You put your hand over his face So in your presence, he would die. And all of Israel saw the glory, and it shines down through the air. Now you've called us to bore. I 
of anointing God yes. from heaven to earth in the name of Jesus more more Lord more Lord we bless him we bless him God in the name of Jesus more we bless James more God in the name of Jesus the name of Jesus yeah yeah Lord we bless Walter we bless him Father in Jesus name we pray that be what you did to Father Thalen you do to Walter Father Walter in Jesus name let there be a, a, an increase and an activation in words of knowledge and prophecy understanding of the ways of God gifts of faith in the name of Jesus gifts of healing Lord let them bring you. give him faith that you're going to do what you told him you're going to do with him in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, I bless him, Lord. In Jesus' name, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Touch him, Father. More. Thank you, God. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Touch him, Father. Touch him, Lord. In the name of Jesus, more of your presence. More, Lord. Touch them, God. Touch them, Lord. The glory, your presence, your power. More, Lord, and blessing. In Jesus' name. insomnia. I have been on sleeping medication for eight plus years consistently and after the group healing I haven't taken anything at all and I had the best night's rest. I normally have blurry visions. I couldn't see items or people who are very far. During the workshop and before it even ended my eyesight improved. I could sharply see the, the, the smallest detail at the, at, the, at the furthest distance. I couldn't let go of coffee. I couldn't let go of cigarettes and today morning I woke up my body rejecting coffee I tried to drink coffee but my body would say please no I don't want it I don't want it in my system uh, hearing 100% in both ears the only way he could hear a little bit was with the who with the hearing aids but she he said I said but did you recoup how, how much percent he said I think everything because it's been such a long time that I don't hear but I think it's everything